The next award I'd like to present is the Centennial Alumni Award. This is our highest honor bestowed upon a former student who graduated from a program within the college more than 50 years ago. This award recognizes an alumnus who has made significant contributions to society, bringing distinction to Kent State University. It is my pleasure to announce Tim Kilduff as this year's award recipient, a proven leader. Tim has extensive experience in public affairs and volunteer organization management. Tim's contributions have been recognized by the Reagan administration, Vice President Al Gore, and Massachusetts governors Weld, King, and Dukakis. Tim served as Boston Marathon Race Director in 1983 and 1984 and founded the nonprofit 26.2 Foundation aimed at advocating the virtues of the marathon run and the power of the human spirit. When I received a call from Dean Hannon, notifying me that I was selected to receive the College of Education, Health and Human Services Centennial Alumni Award, my first reaction was to ask, are you sure you have the right person? His confirmation prompted me to take time to seriously reflect on my time at Kent. My Kent experience on the track team, activities like the Major Events Committee, and my membership in the fraternity of Phi Gamma Delta was my introduction to the power of teams. I'm thankful that somewhere along the way, I was exposed to and absorbed the importance of inclusiveness and collaboration. Both are vital attributes, especially in today's world, and especially when venturing into volunteerism. I'm passionate about service and volunteerism as they afford the volunteer the opportunity to utilize their energy and talents while adding value to important community work. Being acknowledged by our university for what little I have done in the community touches my heart. My hope for any student who chooses KSU is that they take full advantage of all that it has to offer and to bring what they have learned back to their community of choice. Oh, and one more thing. Go Flashes. Thank you. Tom Nappy here, and we are joined by Tim Kilduff. Tim, congratulations on winning the Centennial Alumni Award and your induction into the Kent State University Hall of Fame. Uh, can you talk about this honor and how it feels to be inducted and winning the Centennial Alumni Award? Well, it, uh, Tom, thank you very much, first of all. And um, I can tell you when I first got a call from the dean of the college, I really did stress. I must have said it three, if not five times in the call. Are you sure you've got the right person? Uh, you know, Kent State is uh, located in the northeast section of Ohio, you know, roughly 600 miles away. Um, and I don't know how they track this kind of stuff. So. As much as um, I really don't think I deserve, nor is the recognition necessary, I, I gotta tell you, it, uh, it's kind of fun. And it really did, it made me think about my experience at, uh, at Kent State quite a few years ago. And speaking of that, can you talk about your days at Kent State, uh, what you studied and what it was like to go there? Well, you know, Kent State is uh, not far. It's 11 miles from Akron, about 30 miles from Cleveland, northeast section of, of uh, Ohio. And I'm a New Englander, born and raised in New England. So uh, to make that trek out to uh, Ohio 50 plus years ago was like going to the wild, wild west, quite frankly. Um, but Kent was a, was a uh, we used to call it the largest unknown university in the country. There were about 20,000 students then, even then. Uh, and it wasn't, unfortunately, until the 1970s when uh, there were the shootings uh, uh, and the deaths of four students at Kent that really made this, uh, this institution recognized on a global level. It broadened my horizon. It got me out of New England. Uh, it, 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 got a, it gave me a much different flavor for people, places, and things. So it was a real plus for me. That's terrific. And I read that... Um, after you got your Bachelor of Science degree at Penn State, uh, you went into public relations at American University. Uh, what made you want to do that? Well, you know, uh, Tom, I, uh, I was in association management work and I did some graduate work at, at American. Uh, the, the, 
The interesting part about my undergraduate work um, was that it was in education and the classes that interested me the most were the interpersonal human dynamics classes. I had to do some student teaching. Those were the things that, uh, that interested me. A jump from uh, teaching uh, small group dynamics to sort of public affairs and public relations was not that big a leap. And uh, right now you're doing some great work with the uh, 26.2 Foundation, uh, which to be described briefly promotes the marathon spirit in the history of the Boston Marathon. And your organization is currently working on building a Boston Marathon Museum in Hopkinton. How is that coming along? And do we have a date uh, for the expected opening yet? Well, to talk about this you cannot uh, not you can't you can't help but mention Hopkins marathon footprint uh, we know the race starts here but uh, in a couple of years uh, we'll mark the hundredth time that the Boston Marathon has started in Hopkinton and that goes back to the Brown family deep roots in Hopkinton that sort of thing so it, it's kind of an obvious place uh, on the, on the, the, in the starting area of the most prominent marathon in the world to think about building an institution. Um, we call it the International Marathon Center. Uh, it's, it is meant to be global in nature. Uh, it doesn't ha it's not gonna have a narrow focus. There'll be a hall of fame and there'll of course be a museum, but more importantly, there'll be an education component that is wide ranging. Uh, for example, Tom, the development of democracy, as we all know, started in Greece. Uh, and it, it was in jeopardy in 490 BC when the Persians invaded Athens. Uh, the, the Athenians prevailed. That allowed democracy to, 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 to develop. Ultimately, the Battle of Marathon being fought in Marathon, Greece, was the spiritual beginning of marathon running, quite frankly, because the warriors have to, had to force march from, from uh, Marathon Greece to Athens to protect the city uh, after they won the battle at Marathon. So the links, the, the commonality between Marathon Greece and Hopkinton are significant. Absolutely. Uh, well, Tim, uh, we want to congratulate you on the award. And uh, despite what you think, I think the uh, Hall of Fame was certainly deserved. Uh, so congratulations and thanks so much for talking to us about this honor. Tom, thanks for taking the time. I really appreciate it.